Ali, it is another wowie zowie from these days of futures end one shots. This one stars Johnny Constant, and it is another good one. Unlike the pantsless stranger issue, this one doesn't feel like a story that was supposed to mean anywhere near as much to the character or offer resolution. But instead, we just have a really well done standalone story that honestly doesn't make any use of the future factor. It says five years from now up there at the top, but that is really the only in of it being set in the future. There is no other boards or anything like that. So Johnny Constant, it was played by Kanye Reeves in that film that everyone remembers. He has come into possession of Dr. Fates' magic helmet. He is trying to protect the rest of the world from its evil influence. He knows that the helmet is host to a magical entity that doesn't really hold the human race in very high regard and is more than willing to destroy everything and start all of creation over again to better the world. So Johnny Constant, he is trying to stop the helmet from ever being used again, and as he watches over it, the helmet calls out to a bunch of people, and brings them to come and put on the helmet themselves. Like a siren song. Except without a sexy siren. So it is the worst type of siren song. And this is really good. The helmet tries to seduce Johnny Constant. It tries to convince him to put it on and fix the world. And there are some people out there who really hate the idea of Johnny Constant crossing hour with the DC Universe. And that is stupid. The character, he was introduced in Man-Thing. And he has big connections to Man-Thing and Satana. Just because a bunch of cynical wankers didn't want Superman anywhere near their mature comic books for grown-ups. It doesn't mean that Johnny Constant is separate from the rest of DC Comics. So Johnny Constant, he has sectioned himself off in a room by himself with the helmet. And he has hired a bodyguard to watch over the room and stop anyone from getting in. I.e. stop all the people who have been brought here by the helmet. And it starts slow with one person at a time. But it quickly becomes this one bodyguard having to hold off like a big mob of people. I recommend this one. It was an interesting setup and I thought it was well done. Johnny Constant is still very much Johnny Constant, even though he cannot say bollocks or bugger anymore. The New 52, it did make a lot of missteps with this character and trying to implement them alongside the Justice League. And stuff like that. But re-establishing them very firmly alongside the rest of the DC magic mythology and continuity. That is fine. I never liked them being on or leading the Dark Justice League. I did understand them being a part of that book. But not the way that he was. 
I think that the second Dark Justice League series, the more recent one, the one that just ended, that did a better job of utilising Johnny Constant. He was never ever a member of the team, but he usually ended up in the same room as them because of his relationship with Satana or his friendship with Man-Thing. He never is a member of that team, but sometimes ends up tagging along reluctantly. That is how I think you sneak this character into a book like Dark Justice League and have it work. As the cover gives away Johnny Constant, indeed he puts on the helmet, and I didn't really want to give away every twist and turn of this story. But I think we're getting the proper Johnny Constant sort of scheming and manipulating and double crossing. He starts making deals with great powers of darkness and evil demons and stuff like that. To accomplish his current job, which is to rid the world of Dr. Fates' helmet, or at least limit its influence. But yeah, I really didn't see much here that links it to Days of Future's End. They're not being a host for Dr. Fates, that's about it. And I suppose the eventual fate of Dr. Fates, pun intended, absolutely. The stuff with Dr. Fates, that is the only requirement for this being five years in the future. Because Dr. Fates, he is given to evil demons as food. Because Johnny Constant is a duplicitous little shit. And then after this, there is a card, but it is not a tarot card, so that is fine. And Devin get concerned about the poor fella that Johnny Constant hired to protect him. He is fine, but he thinks that Johnny Constant is a wanker for making him have to fight off this big crowd of people. All fighting to get to the helmet. And he even had to shoot some of them. And they gone off to a bar for a pint of Guinness and a new tattoo. This has not been the longest of reviews. Because I didn't have anything to really complain about here. And you can't really expand on some it being good sometimes. I rate this issue... Seven thumbs up.